Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tales from the Booter. Welcome back guys. What a fucking day today. Honestly, yesterday it was fucking pissing it down. I thought it ain't gonna be on. Ain't gonna happen. But uh, whew, it turned out good. What if I get, if you did watch the pickups video, um, what I've got to mention, those, you know, more astute and uh, more observant of you among us, may notice the view slot is changed. Uh, that's because the room's moved around a bit. Uh, I've actually, I'll, I'll show you a, a sort of update. It's not going to be a room tour because there's, the majority of it's still the same. But there has been slight amendments to the room. Um, essentially a lot more bookcases or bigger bookcases. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you that at some point, maybe at the end of this or except for another video. But it's nothing, you know, whoa, but it's Obviously now it looks slightly different from uh, a viewer perspective, if you like. Uh, I hope it works a bit better. Um, I think it gives the room a bit more space, although I'm limited to space anyway. But, there we go. Mm. The booter. How did we get on? We fucking did, like I said, we did really good. Really, really good. Um, Tail wise, not a great deal. Not not anything weird and unusual or odd or any sort of events. So yeah, I'm lacking. I'm lacking for a, for a tail this 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 week, guys. I do apologise, but um, and there's some quality here. There's a, there's a, there's a bit of quality. You know, it's not all bump. I mean, there is some trade fodder. Make no bones about that. Uh, like I say, that's just my mechanism for feeding the GameCube and the Wii U collection, essentially. With the odd, you know, maybe PS2 or whatever, chucked in. So, um, where do we start? I'm surveying the, the fucking fallout as we speak now, I'm just looking around. If I do remember something, I'll tell you, but there's nothing that springs to mind. Um, obviously, the, you know, me, me lizard's mates were there, um, chatting to me again. No Atari games turned up, which I didn't fucking think they would do. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll tell you, well, the one thing that did make me chuckle, they said, fucking hell, bloody struggling today. And I thought, that's because I've actually fucking pipped you for once. Well, again, well, not again, but you know what I mean. Because last week they got a few bits... I did miss out on one thing actually, but when I, they, they, they grabbed them, when I seen them, I weren't too fussed actually, to be honest. So I actually come out on, 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 on came out good today. Came out good today. I don't feel aggrieved whatsoever. Um, Lee, retro chef. Um, I know you said you didn't do well today, mate. So commiserations. Mm. A bit ninja spirit here. Yeah? Right, anyway, let's crack on. I'm going to do like the sort of smaller one or two bit items that I've picked up in no particular order. Off um, a sort of gen general, is, is it, she's not a general, neither is he, um, sort of general reseller. They used to have quite some, a bit of retro games, maybe because I'm buying them all now and they, they don't get a chance, but um, we had this and I thought, you know, that because of re they, they, they tend to buy and resell, I thought it's going to be marked up. Instead of quid, I was like, I'm having that for a fucking quid. So for a pound, I got me a PlayStation bag. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll have that for a quid. So I'm well happy with that. Obviously, I'm not going to ever probably put a PlayStation in it. Needs a bit of a clean, but nothing lobbing it in the washing machine won't fix, I don't suppose. So yeah, I thought that was alright for a quid. I've got to find somewhere to put it now. So like I say, the sort of singular random items. Um, I see, I say there's no, there's no, there's a little bit of stories. Like I say, nothing's gonna, you know, rib tickle or anything like that. Um, there's a lady there. She was Polish, and um, I'd sort of was walking up to the store, and one of the, the sort of lizard guys was walking back, and he went and he, he showed me a game, a Wii game, and it was Mario Galaxy 2. I was like, oh, he goes, oh, well, I've got something. Like here, showed it, like laughed. I was like, alright, he went oh, over there, he goes, oh, she had a box of other stuff, but it's all tap. So I walked over, there's a few people hovering around it, and they started off, and there was a Mario Kart Wii, but the box was empty. 
but obviously she had the Wii there, so pound to a penny, it was inside the console, yeah? So I looked in the box anyway, because it was like a um, plastic tub, and in the bottom was these two things. So I still said, how much are these? She went, no, I don't know, you, you tell me, that's my Polish, just nothing like Polish, that's not Indian. Uh, I said, 50p each, she was like, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. So these are, well, one of these is, is going straight to CX, I'll tell you that much now. I've told, I told you, you guys this before. Uh, Wii Sports. That's four pound trading. <laughs> you know that that. All I look at that is that's just another GameCube game. So I've paid fifty p for a GameCube game. That's my logic. Um, like it or lump it, I don't care. What is funny is I've seen this at the bottom, and this is missing. I'm guessing they must have had the collector's little limited edition of Mario Galaxy Two because um, I've got, <laughs> I've got the guide disc that he should have had for it. So if anyone's missing theirs from uh, Mario Galaxy 2, let me know, because uh, I mean it's, it's a bit grubby, to be fair, um, but it's more dust than anything else, but I mean to complete your set, if you're missing it, give me a shout, do a trade, send it off, or like I say, I owe you or whatever, I don't, you know, easy come, easy go. One chap, his mum, uh, he's him and his mum, asked him of any games. He said, yeah, I've got some, got some. I was all a bit excited. He had some PS2 stuff, nothing great. And he had one, um, two PlayStation 1 games, one I already had. And he had this one there. And I thought, you know what? They said, a pound for the PlayStation 2. I said, oh, how much for the older ones? And is it, is it a quid for the PlayStation 1? I said, yeah. So I thought, fuck it, for a quid. It's pretty good trade fodder if someone needs it. Um, the case is shot. It needs a new case. But them's the breaks. Uh, Platinum Doom. Doom's a great game anyway. Um, it's all complete, it's all there. Uh, yeah, there's a few things that I don't suppose you know, it's going to stop it playing. Anyone's interested in that, give me a shout. Um, right. There's a guy there, remember I bought all the GameCube stuff and I got that awesome Mega Drive bundle. So it's got his house clearances. I think it was his son. He had his son and daughter there. I seen him around the boot and I said, oh, are you, are you standing today? And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, but I ain't doing it. I've got me, uh, got me kids doing it. So I wandered over and uh, they're not as good as him anyway, but there was a boxes and boxes of games. And do you know what? There must have been about fucking 15 PlayStation 3 games. Nothing spectacular. Modern Warfare 2... Oh, what else I was looking at? Um, oh, is it Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2? No fucking discs in them. All empty boxes, all empty cases. And I said to the lad, I said, oh, these are all empty. Oh, that's the bloody old man that is. I thought, okay, well, I'm not sure about that. Because I know, I know he doesn't know his games, but he doesn't leave any empty boxes. I mean, literally, they're all empty. I found this one at the bottom. It's complete. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got it. I'm pretty sure I've got it complete. But if I haven't, I have now. And... I said to the lad, look, it's an old one, we can do it for a pound. He said, yeah, fine. So I've got the Clone Wars on the cube for a quid. So I need to check mine. I'm pretty sure I might have that. I might not, though. But I'm pretty sure I've got it complete. This is a great game, by the way. I'm just spirit. It. Now, for 50p, um, the case is shot. It needs a new case, which is not beyond my capabilities of finding the case for this at all. I should probably got one up there, I'm looking at it. Um, the suited lizard, although now that they're slightly less suited, as in the suit, um, and, they're, and they're, they're sort of splitting up a little bit. So they're uh, diversifying their uh, attack plan and uh, covering more area, but it doesn't matter anyway. So I've seen him there and he was, he was flicking through these games, he, he bought a pile, of, and to be fair the guy was like 50p each. Uh, there's no PS2 games, even the ones that he picked up. He left this one, which I don't really get. I'm, I'm guessing it's because I, I'm pretty sure they've either got a shop or that they're, you know, they're eBaying everything or something like that because obviously you wouldn't be able to sell it in the condition it's in. Uh, and it is Resident Evil 5 on the Xbox 360. There is no manual, and obviously the case is of the big. It's easy to show that way. And a chunk taken out of it, but. I mean, you can fucking get cases, you know, I've got, I think I've got one up there. And the disc was, it, it is scratched. 
uh, but it's mainly dirty. It, it, I, I think it might play, to be honest. But for 50p I thought, I love that. Um, I did see his other Oppo later on. He had, he had like bags, bags for life, but it was just, it was full of like, it was like fucking just PS2 games, but nothing I could see on the top. I just thought, I don't know, I don't know what they're buying them for. I'd love to know. I might ask them one day. Just because I'm like that. That's me all over. Right. I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, we'll do this because I say I'll, I'll, I'll do from big to small. Some of these I'll, I'll better pick up some job lots and others. I'll tell you that much now. Uh, this is off one of the guys I know. He's, he's, he's a bit of a trader. Um, he's not a, a huge trader, if you know what I mean. But he does go in the boot. He buys his stuff and sticks it on his stall. Um, so I'm not sure where he's been the last couple of weeks. He's been there. But he had these, and I didn't see these at first. I seen the ones at the bottom. Then I know because these are like, well, like you'll, you'll see them in a anyway. Grab these two, for two pound each. One I know I definitely need. One I'm not sure of, and I bet I've copped up. I bet I've got this, but anyway. So I got all these for two quid each. So two, four, six, eight quid. Eight quid spent. I've got thirteen on the cube. I'll say a bit of a cube kick at the minute. Um, just basically Rainbow Six. All complete. All in yeah, pretty good condition. And then, nice to see these. Unfortunately, I need to try and find some cases, which I think I might have two. Or two that's enough to put them into their original format. Um, one of them I don't know anything about. The other one I'm pretty sure I had at some point, and I hope I don't have it now. I'm hoping, I'm just looking at these, These. I just hope that's folded over. So why I didn't see these is because someone's put these Dreamcast games in a DVD case lot. But it's only when I, I bought the cube and I looked down I could see the sort of spine. So the back spine's there. My concern is that someone sliced the side off there. And I hope they haven't. And the other one is Stunt GP. And again... I think they folded it. I'm hoping to fold it. But it says team. Listen to team of team 17. I'm going to look at that now. Um, but the discs are fine. The, the manuals in there. Everything's there. It's just yes, they folded it over. Look, ha! <laughs> Perfect. So two quid for a Dreamcast game. Yeah, I'll take that. Why they've done it that way, I don't know. Maybe the case is shattered, which is <laughs> as we all know. It's not unheard of, but yeah, Slave Zero, all there, so, yeah, a couple of quid, it keeps him happy, it keeps, you know, keeps on terms of, you know, nice terms with me and stuff, so, what are you going to do? Hmm. Okay. Where do we go next? I've got a lot of Wii and DS today, and a lot of PlayStation, that's what's left, actually. But shit tons of it. Right, there's a lady there, says she had some games. Ask her how much, and she went five pound each. Fucking hell. I spoke to your husband, and I was like, I was like went, is that not a good price? I said, no, not really, mate. I went, well, you think? It's a couple of quid. He goes, well, I'll sort some out, and I'll see if I can get you, a, you know, sort, sort some out for you, like. So I grabbed these, pure, I mean, these were probably the best ones of the bunch. I mean, there's one or two that I think. I, just, I guessed, I guessed a little bit. But it's a two quid each, so eight quid. Uh, again, a bit of DS. It's weird because I just kept seem to, I kept seemingly falling into the same sort of games or the same titles, but on different formats. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, ben Ten Day, also was this. I mean, Ben Ten Cosmic Destruction, complete. Um, Pick this up earlier on, so this is. To be fair, they've got everything in them. So I'm just, I'm just sorting them out so you can see the manuals and stuff. Um, Harry Potter, here's one to four. That's complete. I'm just seeing if any of these got points on. That's all. Um, Finish some verb. Two, two dimension, second dimension. 
across the second dimension. I'm sure I've got that for the gills and the Wii. And just finish some verb. Again, all complete. So, two quid each. I have no idea if that was worth it or not. I'm pretty sure that Harry, Harry Pothead would, would near, near us all, near us damn it, cover the outlay for them anyway. dry now. Um, I'm going to do one more sort of thing. I'm going to change this game because <laughs> the sort of noise just... There's only so long I can listen to it and then it starts irritating me. Um, I don't know. Here we go. It's sort of smaller. Yeah, like stick it to the sort of small lot. <sighs> this one, I think, not my greatest price wise this was a little bit earlier on again these are in no wall you know that guys anyway not my greatest um, grab but I think I've, I've done all right generally there's two girl two girls two two young ladies there uh, obviously friends next to each other that's one of them we've got the games now that's the other one and I was expecting to say now close she went oh yeah I've got some um, DS stuff Oh, I'll have a look at that. She goes, oh, I might have some Wii games as well. I was like, oh, yeah, great. So she, to be fair, so she gets the black, the black bag out. Looking, I was like, oh, great. And there's a pink DSi. So I put that to, in my hand sort of thing. I, I look in the bag, put them all to one side. Picked out these games. So what are you asking for the games? And she said something stupid like £4 each. I was like, oh, God. Heart sank. So what about the DS? What about the DSi? Oh, I was thinking 30 quid. Oh, I was like, what? So, I was like, okay, okay, look, let me, uh, to through in it, I had a pile of stuff. So I had a, a pink DSi with a charger, to be fair. The bottom screen, the touch bit, was quite badly scratched up. So I showed her the pile, she went, I said, what, 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 what are you asking for this? She went, oh, you tell me. I said, well, I don't know. 25 quid, and she was like, whoa, whoa, no. Well, I wanted this much, this much, blah, and it ended up being like something fucking stupid. Like she worked out like 60 quid. I was like, okay, fine. I said, look, I don't want this. I said, it's scratched anyway. Well, what does that matter? I said, because it's scratched. The bottom of it, the bottom panel's scratched. I don't even know if it will even work. She said, it works. Yeah, you turn it on, it turns, it powers back off again. So I don't know if it's just the battery, but I was like, I could keep that. So, so what, you, what, would you, what would you take for these? She jumped an ad, and I got these for 15 quid, which <sighs> they are in good condition. Um, it's, it's, compared to what I've got later on, I'm a little bit like, I don't know. One of the games that my daughter wants anyway, so you probably pay a fiver for that in the shop. But we're talking car boot now, not talking retail. So for 15 quid, right, I got, and again, this is this one's, tra we've got this one, I know we've got this one. It's CX Trade Fod all day long, unless someone wants it, Pepper Pig the game on the DS. All complete, all there. And that's that one. We then got Peppa Pig Think Park Fun, which is the one she she wants to play. I think she forgot about it actually. Because I said to her, she said, "Let me show that first. Um, actually, there's no there's no manual to it. I don't even there is a manual to it. I'm just seeing. I thought that was the manual, but it, anyway, it's there. We then got <clears throat> this one. I don't have. I mean, they're just a little bit fingerprinty. Uh, Epic Mickey on the Wii. Again, I can't remember if I've got this or not. I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty sure. Worst case, I'll break break more than even on these. Uh, Sonic and Sega All Star Racing on the Wii. Uh, very good on the Wii U. That is. Um, I mean, you can see some of the Wii games here. Look, so moved up from the back a bit, but. I can't see it to end. Um, this one, which may get part of my money back, uh, Super Mario DS, loose cart, <laughs> and the pick of the bunch. Got this. I picked up the second one last week, and this is a uh, Super Mario Galaxy. So again, you know, I mean, fifteen quid. For a couple of games, some you know, if I, if I needed these, 
I've been happy as Larry. Um, I don't know who Larry is, but I'll be happy as in Larry Hagner. Was he JR? Larry Hagner was JR, wasn't he? So I was trying to get his fucking CX game stick off the back of it. Um, but yeah, Mario Galaxy. Got it. Don't need it. Um, I did check this one actually, and it's fine. I mean, it's not not a, there's a thumbprint on it, I think, and it's got all the. Not that any of you guys are that bothered, but it's got all the shit. It's got the points cards even still, which uh, have now expired as of last year. But it's nice to have them. I think as a complete set, you know, unscratched, I suppose. So no, yeah. 15 quid, man. Like I say, I told the lizard guy about the DSI. He went over, he looked at it, he said the same about me, the same to me. Uh, I said at the end, I f no, with the DSI, she did stop to me. She wanted, I said 30 odd quid. I think she went down to 20 because I said the screen was scratched, but even he walked away from it, so. And they tend to buy anything. I'm going to change right. this game. We're back. Yeah, two ticks. Uh, a bit of Final Soldier. Just, I just need different. Ambient sounds. Excuse me. Right. Onwards and upwards. Fucking, I don't know if it were halfway there yet, guys, honestly. Um, how did this one work? Right, no, do it this way. Guys, two sons. I thought these guys are going to have summer. You usually have, like I say, I've, I've said this before, bit of a bit of a two tip. Here you go, Craig. A bit of a tip for you. I know you like these. Usually, stereotypically, demographically, more chance are likely to have games from young adults. You know, let's be honest. So there's a chap there with his two youngest sons are about 15 or so. And they weren't as bad as the other week. You know I told you about the kids that just don't want to be there. The, the, these, these lads weren't too bad. They were a bit on the ball. They were nice guys. Nice young lads. You know, having their dad out and stuff. Very pleasant. So, got any, got any videos? Oh, I've only got old PS2 stuff. I was like, that's great. So, don't mind it. It's not really a bit of volume. So, no. Brilliant. So, pulls this box out, looks for one. So, what well, are you asking for them each? There wasn't anything that I needed. But he went, that's too loud now. But he went, um, ah, 50p each. And I was like, I just went, you know what? Trade fodder. So, I got them for two quid. So I've got five for two quid. I mean, if anyone needs any of these, let me know. They're all pretty good condition. Crash Twin Sanity. Sonic Heroes is missing the manual. There's a few, I mean, let's say if anyone needs any of them, let me know and I can always test them. Sonic Heroes. Sonic Riders, which is a bugger to get on the bloody cube, I tell you that much. This fucking game eluded me for the longest time. Um, good one here, Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just a few dumb prints on it. And Crash Tag Team Racing. Yeah, fine. Two quid. I mean, I don't, you know, if anyone's, any, anyone's interested in any of this stuff. Uh, other than the stuff that I said that I need, give me a shout. Like I say, I'm always up for a trade. Anyone, you know, you guys will know that now. Um, but if not, it will be um, trade off to CX for more Wii and uh, other GameCube stuff. I'm still, you know. I'd love to be able to find the missing, the missing Resident Evil ones that I need for the cube. Two, three, and uh, Code Veronica. I'd love to be able to grab them from CEX. Just because I could just off offset it all, if that makes sense. They've, they've been, probably been more expensive than um, eBay, but just the way it is. Right, I don't know why I said that. Four. Grand total of six quid, I think. I got. I'm not gonna get all that. Old fat PS2 here. I got another fat PS2. 
and I grabbed, again I've got both of these, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. So what the lady said is, uh, again it was a young, uh, young lad and his mum, and they had some games, again nothing in there that I was desperately after, and uh, I, said, I said, oh we've got the system though, and I sort of said to the, 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 the lad, so it was the fat, oh, fat or thin one, but it was quite, quite big, I went, oh it's the old fat one then, and the mum was like, oh, so yeah it's the older model. So I said, how much are you asking for that? And, he, and she asked him, I felt what his name was like, Stephen or Andy or whatever. He was like, oh, I don't know. Um, she says, what? And she mum says to me, well, what do you think? So well, about a fiver. So I'll tell you what, if you buy a couple of games, we'll give it for a fiver. So for six quid, for, so these are 50p each. And they've got the fat Xbox, which is fine. It'll do me. Um, these I've got, again... I'm, I did sort of say to him about, there's a, there's a, I mean, they've been played. They're not mangled, do you know what I mean? They're not mangled discs or anything like that. CX will take these in. That's my, that, that seems to be my go-to place, isn't it? That one's probably a bit cut up. Um, but, you know what? I said, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take them. So they were happy. I was happy. Everyone's happy. I think the best way of doing this because there's one thing I picked up first which I think was a good buy and there's one thing I picked up at the end which is a great buy on paper <laughs> that's yet to be um, confirmed and there's one I picked up in the middle which is really good so what I've got to do I'll do the, the, the sort of next fat PS2 grab um, I've seen that the, the, this is getting towards the well, technically the end it's probably about eight o'clock quarter to eight, something like that, right, that, that, that's towards the end, <laughs> that's when it's all over, um, it was one of the last sort of cars, or one of the last few cars to, to have come in, uh, again it was two, two friends, two two females, I tend to get a lot of females who use a car boot, uh, she rocked up, asked her, she said no, I said oh what you mate, she said oh yeah I've got something here, and to be fair she had a couple of kids, no, she had a, a, a young daughter, who obviously didn't want to be up that early, and a nice little dog, <laughs> chat to her, I thought we've got, have, have you got any game? Yeah, I've got some PlayStation 2. So she pulled, pulled out, I think they were in the footwell. So it wasn't, you know, she wasn't like, I wasn't like in the boot or anything like that. They were there to hand. I said that to her. I said that to her. She said, yeah, there's Danny. She passed them out. I was like, nah, nah. And there's one I was like, yes. And I said about, I said, oh. I said, oh, them ones are not too fat. She said, oh, I've got the system as well. I said, all right. Said, and it was a fat one. Another fat PS2. I mean, not that. Just, I'm sure people think, right, I keep showing the same stuff, just recycle the same stock of stuff, but yeah, look, there's two, two fat PS2, so they're both from today, um, and, and, and I think they had a couple of memory cards with them as well, but I'll just stick them in the drawer, I've got a drawer full of PS2 memory cards, I shit you not, and PS1 memory cards, anyway, so hello. She says, do you know what? She says, I'm sick of the thing. I'm sick of it being on my feet. She says, you can have the lot for a fiver. I was like, really? She's like, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, I said, said about a fiver for the thingy. So, <laughs> one game here, I was just like, I'm like, that's the only one I was after. So, well, yeah, you can take the lot for a fiver. Fine. So these are literally, I mean, unless anybody wants these, I'm, I ain't checked the condition. You know what? Let me just have a quick check. So I don't even know if they're even in. I didn't even check if they're in there because they weren't that, even that first. No, it's not even in there. It's probably in the system. Right. Do them two halves. Anyone's interested in any of them? Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal on the Rise of I mean, I don't know. I haven't even checked if I've got these or not. I'm saying I have, but I'm <laughs> Grand Turismo has got no manual, all rest is all complete, juiced, GTA 3, and Super Buster Move, the horriblest cover ever in the history of anything. The other one that didn't have anything in it, which it, the, the game may well be in the system, is uh, Vice City Platinum, right? Fat PS2, and Dark Cloud. When she pulled that one out, and it wasn't the last one, I thought, oh, please be an RPG whore. It wasn't. Um, but 
and just got it's got a, a sort of scuff mark going on. I'm sure it'll play. I'll be absolutely amazed. It's got the manual, it's got a very good condition manual actually. I need to check mine because that is a pretty spanky condition manual and the insert as well. So I have, anyway, I've got a copy of Dark Cloud if someone's interested. We're not done yet. So that was the last PlayStation 2 haul. Pick up, grab, whatever. <laughs> there's fucking more. There's more. There's a lot more. Well, yeah, there's probably a lot more actually. Um, I don't know how to do this now. Because these. There's four lots now, four sort of different separate pots that I grabbed. And they're all pretty good deals. Some probably better than others. I'll do I'll do these ones, get these out of the way. DS. Stall in the corner, I don't know if you guys who, who, who go to the booters, the you know, they tend to sort of do rows of people and they put people around the edges. That makes sense. Well, this one's in the corner. And uh what attracted me to it was they had some uh, Warcraft guides. I mean I don't I don't play Warcraft now anymore, but it still always just piques me interest, you know. So I wandered over and I sort of said, oh, we've got Warcraft. I started talking, to, it was a uh, 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 husband and wife. Probably, you know, about my age ish, give or take. She was lovely. And I sort of said, oh, did you both play? You know, because me, me and my wife used to play. Just chatted to them and stuff like that. And I sort of said, oh, and I noticed she had a box of um, games. I said, oh, can I look at your video games? She goes, well, what video games do you have to say? Well, mainly older stuff. He goes, oh, I ain't got any of that. I said, well, I've said, but where have you got? He goes, well, I've got some. I'm sure it's some 360, some PS3, and some DS. It's a bit of a right, right mixed bag. So he passes this box over, right? And look, look into it. And my mate's with me, and uh, he goes, uh, "How much are they?" He went, "Well, depends how many you have." So I picked these ones out, right? I'll show you what I've got. In no particular order, to be honest, they're all complete. Uh, Wario Master of Disguise, Moshi Monsters Moshlin Zoo. I need to check this one right because I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping beyond hope, and I can't find it now. <laughs> that the one I've got of this has been, is my dog bite edition. I think it is. Oh yes, it might be. Thank God for that. Zelda Spirit Tracks. So I'm sure the one I've got of that is what I call my dog bite edition. I've got to find it now. Uh, Indiana Jones 2, Lego. Sonic Chronicles. Spyro. And Pokemon Diamond. So I'd, I'd give him, I think I hadn't picked up India, I missed India off. So I had one, two, three, four, five, I had six games, right? I got six games. Went, ah, fiver. I went, oh, this is one. He went, I, I give him a ten, I think he's going to say six quid, he give me five pound back. So I got all that lot for a fiver. That's why, that's why we go fucking car booting. And anybody else who tells you any different is a fucking asshole. Here's my dog bite edition. The spirit tracks. Now that looks alright in the front, doesn't it? Look, it's not until you get round the back. <laughs> so, yeah, in the top corner there. So, dog bite edition, Zelda. Internally, everything is fucking in there. I bet it's got more stuff than the fucking good copy I grabbed. I've got the points still. Anyway. Dog bite edition. Off for grabs if anyone's interested. That one's going to be collection on. That's for sure. So. Not bad. My mate was like, fucking hell you bastard.
we're going to do. I'm going to do. If you don't ask, if you're not. It's always four. It's nice to be nice. Fucking. He, he, you know, any bastard can be horrible. Um, but there we go. <laughs> Next case in point. <laughs> this could have gone badly wrong. I'll tell you now. My mate kind of nearly did me a disservice here. Um, I, th I did, I, did I, th I, th I thought, I thought this lady was going to tell me to fuck off, I really did, um, <sighs> nice lady with a young son, so again, maybe a little bit younger than me, maybe, I don't know, maybe the same age, I don't know, um, certain demographic, like I mentioned before, I think it was about 10, and I said to her, have you got any games? Have you got any, you know, have you got any old video games? Oh no, I said anything at all like DS, Wii, PlayStation, Xbox. Oh, we've got some PlayStation 3. Oh, I'll have a look at that. I think they were old, uh, the older son's one, because she said someone's name, like, she said, oh, um, Joe, is Alex Games in here? Did Alex put his games in or something? That was it, yeah, because it was, because he put prices on them. To be fair to her, she was lovely. She found them out for me, so there you go. But what had happened was she's got like a pickup, not a pickup, but like um SUV type thing, so the, the bottom drops down. So she put them on the top there. And obviously I was looking in, my mate come over, my shoulder, like joking around like I did with Retro Dave. And she was like, so she said some, some words sort of like, um, oh my God, what, what are you doing getting in my boot? What are you doing climbing my boot? Like, yes, obviously not. Realising who he was, and I didn't know because I just sort of seen some come over, and I thought it was a fucking lizard or whatever. And uh, he, he sort of snapped. He went, "Oh bloody hell, love!" He goes, "Calm down." I was, you know, I'm, I'm with him, sort of thing. I thought, oh, fucking hell. I says, "Yeah, yeah, he's, he's just having a laugh." But that was it, because he told us to calm, not to calm fucking down, but calm down. And he was sort of like a bit aggrieved that she'd sort of snapped at him, and that he got a bit like, oh, oh shit. But pr prior to him fucking lurching in, she said, well, 50p and um, other ones are marked up, as, uh, aren't marked as priced. I was like, okay, so I started picking these out. That happened. So all I had, I was like, no, I, I, I didn't mean to do it, to be honest. Because I didn't even know what, because I was sort of thinking about what had gone on there, I was trying to appease her and to sort of say, oh yeah, he gets a bit excited and just trying to defuse the whole fucking situation. I said to her, look, I've got one, one two, three, four, five. I said, look, 50p each is six here, uh, six quid's worth. And she went, yeah, that's fine. I think she just wanted me to sort of, not not go a little bit, but she didn't, she weren't happy with that bit of like, sort of back chat, I suppose that's probably the best word, but not, 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 not some confrontation, because he walked off. You know, my mate just walked off. Um, and not not until when I got back today did I realise when she went and bought some of them marked up. But, to be fair, she could have checked them. I, I don't, you know, she probably lost out in about fucking two quid or something stupid like that. So for six quid, right, this is what I've got in no particular order. Duke Nukem Forever, PS3. Ratchet and Clank and Clank in Time. So you can see that the lad must have put a pound on everything counts was 50p. And all the left there was all the, the shooters of like modern warfares and shit like that. Because I don't know what they go for and I don't think they go for a lot anyway. Uh, GTA 4. Case needs swapping out. Mass Effect 2. This is missing. Uh, I I'm, I'm guess it's missing the manual. Do you know what? I wouldn't be surprised. It's, it's fucking EA game. You probably don't get a manual with it. But it's meant to be the uh, limited edition or something. Includes six hours of bonus material, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Another copy of Uncharted 2. Another copy of Burnout Paradise, which I'm sure I've got. Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction Platinum. Metal Gear Solid 4, which I don't have. Guns of the Patriots Platinum. So a few of these I'll be keeping. Elder Scrolls Oblivion Game of the Year Edition Platinum. Killzone 2. 20 quid from CEX at some point. Red Dead Redemption. 
and one I was really happy to grab hold of, to be honest, is Fallout 3. Six quid. Fucking no brainer. Absolute fucking no brainer. I'll swap this game over again. Right. Because that's, if you're stuck, <laughs> if you're stuck around, you're fucking doing well. This has got to be. It may be the longest, I don't know. Two lots left. I've had to change the game again, like I mentioned before. Um, two lots left, guys. I'm exhausted doing this. Fucking hell. All you guys have to do is sit and listen. And watch, hopefully. Right. Got a bit of a... A bit of a rejiggle here, so do bear with me. Um, we'll do this one first. It's, I mean, to be honest, it's not epic. It's not, there's nothing like, holy dog shit, that's fucking amazing. It's just, for the price I paid, it's good. That's all. Me personally, I think it's good anyway. Right. So. This was the first thing I picked up. So this set the tone for the day. Now again, you know, I might be preaching to converted here or whatever, but when you go to the booter, you have a, you, you, you generally get a feeling, right? So if things are going good, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you works two ways, you either go on a hot streak, which is, today was a little bit of one, I must admit, or it's barren and then you, you don't get fuck all, or it's barren and then you get something amazing, and it makes up for it. This was bang straight away, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. So, flies in the face of what I said earlier. Fucking contradicting motherfucker. Um, this lad, he, he was a 25-ish, uh, and all he was pulling out of his van was old bits of um, wiring on the, the spools and um, I don't know the best way to describe it like BT engineers and stuff like that use it and uh, electrical engineers do it and stuff like that it, it, it's it's wire on, on a spool I don't I don't think it, I don't think it, is, it might have been his covering cobwebs it was that kind of thing box of tools I just said to him you know what chap um, don't suppose you've got any old video games in there he went actually I have because I've got, I've got some Playstation 1 stuff I was like oh yeah I'll have a look at that so he pulls out this big old game bag, like the old, I think old game logo on it, but a big fucking sack. Dumps them down, looking through, he's like, yeah, there's a few bits in here. And I sort of said, um, what are you asking for it all? And he went, oh, I was thinking 25 quid. I was like, fucking hell, that's, that's a bit steep, mate. Oh, no, I've got the console as well. I was like, okay. I said, yeah, but I've got one of them. He goes, well, it's in the box. I was like, okay, a little bit. So anyway, look through it all, and, uh, I sort of like sort of said about a few things. Well, that's Twenty quid then. I went pay about fifteen. And he ummed and ahed. I looked through it again. I wasn't being horrible. I just sort of said because when I looked through it, I thought, you know what? Cause what I said to him was, well, you know, there's only a few games I'm after. He went, oh, I'll tell you what, fifteen quid. Fuck it. Because obviously then he's, I think it's like seven fifty to stand or seven quid to stand, and he's he's, he's, he's up in profit. That's another tooty tip number. Whatever. If ever you're, you're sort of, especially if you're early bird, the way I, one of the, the sort of lines I've took out, and it's true, for example, say if this had been like eight quid or ten quid or whatever, I would said, look, there you go, that, that, that's your ground rent page, you're in profit now. And people think, well, actually, yeah, that's right, actually, I mean, yeah, I'm winning. So, it's, you know, it's a little psychological. So, like I say, it's 15 quid. So, you know, you're up and running then, you're, 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 off, you're off the mark, you're in profit. Oh yeah, yeah, fuck it, go on then. So for 15 quid, I say it's nothing major, but it's nice. Um, so I'll start with a box, boxed PlayStation. Um, I didn't even look in it. <laughs> I'll tell you that much now, I didn't even look in it. I've looked in it since coming back. So in the lid is all of that so there's like a, an action replay do that which I'm pretty sure I've got scart lead 
some um, controller extension, electronics boutique memory card, another max memory card, HMV memory card. Uh, that's quite nice. A like little memory card holder, but like some knockoff things. PS2 memory card, eight eight gig. Blaze adapter. Um, the PlayStation's in there, and I haven't looked at it earlier. It's a bit yellow, but got the polys, everything out, so I can always just swap that over. And the box is in. It is in pretty good condition. There's like a bit of crushing there that should be better push out anyway. So I'm just sat on it. But yes, yeah. I then got, I've never seen one of these fucking things before. It looks like some of, okay. I reckon Craig could have this on his, his latest fucking cab. Look at that for a fucking gun. It looks like a space gun. It is a light, interact light blaster. Okay now, this looks like a space gun gun. Space gun gun gun. Anyway. That one, um, another, another, so I'm pretty sure this one's been eaten by something. It's been chewed or some shit's gone on with it. Anyway, it's another scorpion gun, but it's, I don't know what happened to that. It's all there, but we got, Dual analog, original, uh, dual analog white, and then dual analog grey. I'm not sure what came with that. Anyone knows? I don't think this is released. Is the the first version because it's not. Cause it says SCPH10002. So I think this is the analog, the, the first grey analog release. Because obviously the original one, 001, I think would have come with that. <laughs> But what I was, what was happy to find in the in, in the bag is a uh, I don't know what how that does. Okay, I was too much pissing about here, but it is a Scorpion Two gun. It's got all these fucking I don't know what these dials do, but this is in actually really good condition. Like I say, you can see that. I don't know what happened to the other one. This just looks like it's already been used. But I know that these are um, these are quite nice guns. Few people said I said that last my last video, but um, yeah, have to get that. That's not all. We got game four player adapter in the box. I don't think it's ever been opened, you know. It's in there. <laughs> I wish they're better in, in uh, um, track mode. Uh, action replay for PS2. You didn't have a PS2, but nice tin with the action replay in there. Look, and then a shit ton of games. Um, weirdly enough, a lot of these weren't even. They're all in bits, I've just had to, no, not just, but put them together earlier, like, the inserts and the manuals are all loose and stuff like that. I'll rattle through these, I'm not even going to bother stopping unless it's really necessary. Spec Ops, Star Patrol, Mac Racer 2, Track and Field Platinum, some of these I've got, Destruction Derby, anything takes your fancy, give me a shout, Tekken 3, Destruction Derby Raw, uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, I might need that one, I think I've got the cardboard version of that. Uh, Time Crisis I've got, um, Die Hard I've got, Spec Ops Covert Assault, uh, Panzer Front, Spec Ops Panzer Elite, Ranger Elite rather, uh, Simpsons Wrestling, nice big box version of Doom, Soviet Strike, which needs a new case, I think I need that one. Formula 198, Destruction Derby 2, Platinum, no manual, Siphon Filt, which is worthless, shit. 
Uh, Red Alert, I might need that one. Can't remember. G Police, don't need that, that's missing the manual. Uh, 20 Games, I think I've got that one, can't remember. Trackfield 2, which is a nice one to have, I don't think I've got that. Cracking title, I'm glad this was in there because this would, on its own would, would easily pay for 75% of this is uh, Point Blank. I'm pretty sure I've got that. Another one with this and that combined, Metal Gear Solid. It is missing the manual, it's got the Silent Hill demo, but there's no manual. And lastly, but yeah, definitely leastly, uh, Medal of Honor Underground. 15 quid for that lot. That ain't bad. That can't be bad in anyone's books. So, uh, I don't suppose there's a few titles in there that I actually do need. Okay, bear with me. Last. The last one. Trust me. Go on, Bennett. Right. If I had four arms like Bithead, I'd fucking hold them up in one hand. Good juggling. Right. Last job lot. Oh. I'm pretty sure. That means it's still here then. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the lizards have gone by this point because I don't remember seeing them. And like I said last week, it's all oh, leave it up to you, but they didn't say that this week. A late turn, late late comer. I'd say late, probably about half eight, if that, maybe even eight o'clock. Walking past, walking to the top of the aisles, look down, and I seen like these sort of piling up and I was like shit get over there quick and luckily I was the first one there well I wasn't the first person at the store but I was the first one looking at these they were looking at like fucking clones shit like that it's quite funny actually because you know I, I told you about the Lego lady that's always there um, Joy her name is and she sort of said to me earlier on in the morning I can't remember when it was she said to it's just me, or because she's, she's, she's getting on a bit. So is it just me, or, or do you think that people walk around half naked? I said, what do you mean? She went, the way these fucking Nigerians go mad for clothes. She says, you, you, you think they've they're, they're never fucking worn before? I just laughed. I thought, you know what? It's so true. Anyone's ever been to a car boot? They'll know exactly what we're on about. They're all the fucking Africanos. You, you, you'd think they've fucking never had a shirt on the back. Um, what they do with them, I have no idea. But anyway. So, um, yeah, back to this. Right, seen you stacking up, went over. So, she came, she went, Wow. And to be fair to her, she was honest enough. She went, Well, this pile are a bit scratched up, so they're 50p each. So, okay, so well, I've got some more that aren't. I said, Okay. So, I started looking at the scratch pile. And to be fair, they were, you know, they're not in the best condition. And she said, These are the ones. So, I literally just created a pile of games. And uh, I said, how much do you want? I said, I've got all these. I said, look, if the 50p each, they're one, two. I think it was like, hang on. Is it? I said, if they're 50p each, it'd be 11 quid. I said, to be honest, there's not many of the unscratched ones I want. I said, would you do 15 quid? She went, yeah. So I've got all this for 15 quid. And to be fair, some of them are scratched, but again, I'm not going to. If you guys want them, you can have them, but. All I'll do, I'll take up CX. I say, oh, it's gonna cost a pound to clean it. Fucking take the pound off, because I'm pretty sure pound for pound, no pun intended. Um, I'll still come out on top of this lot. Most of them I'm keeping. No, no, some, there's a few I'm keeping. So from the top, we've got because she had a few of these loose actually. I went through them all. PSP Power Stone Collection. For I'm having that fucker. We got the Platinum Star Wars Trilogy 2. I'm not sure if I've got this, but for Star Wars, and it's all complete. We're we'll having that. Um, <laughs> say it before, say it again. We Sports, £4, CX. Absolute no brainer, guys. 
Now a few titles that are... Yeah, see I think some of these will play, but... If any of you guys are interested in these, let me know. Right, I, I can always test them. Uh, Star Wars A Complete Saga, it's got a little bit of a, a dink at the bottom there. Indiana Jones Adventures, it's complete. I mean, they have been played, there's no doubt about it. Whether they will play, I don't know, but there's no gouges, they're just scuffs. They've been scuffed. Lego Batman, same. I think with a buff, this, it'll play fine. Uh, Sonic Secret Rings. And 10 Cosmic Destruction, told you there's a fucking thing, there's no manual on this one. Oh, I think that, that's for the. Resi 4, the Wii Edition, no manual. Yeah, a lot of these just been buffing out, I think. Uh, Scooby Doo, the Spooky Swamp. Yeah, not great, but. Call of Duty Black Ops. Some of these will play, I think. I don't think there's a Doctor Who, Return to Earth. I don't think it's meant to be the greatest game. Um, I think some just need to clean. Hot Wheels, Battle Force, Five. Five Lives. Yeah. Another copy of Epic. Epic, 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 Epic Mickey. Oh, I think a lot of these buff out. Another copy of Star Wars Complete Saga, and I think these are the sort of better ones. No, kind of like it's not. A Kugon, Battle Brawlers. Uh, another PSP, Transformers again. All complete. Mutant Turtles. Antenna in force. Need some serious bufferage. Uh, Sonic Black Knight. Transforms a game. Pretty chewed up. I think this is probably seen better days. But I say, if, if it ends up being four quid trade, they're going to charge me a pound to clean it. Fuck it. Spider-Man 3, yeah, these these need buffering. I don't, you know, I'm going to show you, but I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't come up very well on my camera. They're not gouged out, they're just scuffed to death. We Sports again. Um, they pay more in the big box. The turtles. The last, last but one now, guys. And if you haven't already switched off, you can do. And the Clone Wars. That's a lot of Wii games. It's a lot of games for 15 quid anyway. Um, like I say, they need a clean. Uh, if I had four arms like Bithead, I'd do it in one hand. But I ain't. So you'll have to make do with uh, that one. Not get out, nearly went then. So 15 quid. I'm going to turn this off because it's annoying the shit out of me. Right. 15 notes. There's a bit of trade fodder there, there's no doubt about it. If anyone is interested in that, let me know. I can always test it for you. Um, to be honest, that last lot, they're very going to be very hit and miss. They're not in perfect condition. Uh, if there was anything in there. I mean, probably other than maybe the, the PSP game. But Power Stone, one I'm going to keep. Anything else, give me a shout. Dreamcast, I'll probably want to keep. But fuck it, look. Just let me know if there's something you think, oh yeah, hey, would you trade this for that or whatever. Just just chuck me an offer. 
open to offers as always and um, that's me done that is me done I've got nothing in the offing so uh, next week uh, I'm off I'm off with the kids I do have um, those who know me on Facebook I've got a pickup it is of the uh, animal variety and it is a, a, a puppy a cocker spaniel called Molly it was a pain in the ass if you choose my Choose my fucking games, I'm going to kill it. But, um, yeah. That's it. Take it easy, YouTube. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.